So yeah, on August 5th, Anthropic dropped Claude Opus 4.1, no hype video, no big countdown stream, just a short blog post saying, hey, it's better at agentic tasks, better at real world coding, better at reasoning. And then they just walked away. And you know what? I kind of love that because tucked inside that tiny announcement is something that actually matters if you're building solo. They've made Claude precise. It's not just more accurate on some benchmark, although it is 74.5% verified if you care about the numbers. It's that it finally feels like it knows when to make a change and when to leave your code alone. Real quick, I'm Daniel. I've been in the iOS game for almost eight years, freelancing and shipping apps for other people. But since DubDub25, I've gone full solo dev, started building in public, and yeah, kind of figuring out this personal brand thing as I go. More on that for another video. Opus 4.1 isn't some massive, forget everything you knew kind of update. It's more like when your favorite coffee shop swaps to a new grinder and suddenly every cup tastes just a little cleaner, a little sharper, same place, same vibe, but you notice the difference right away. The big thing I'm feeling, multi-file edits before Claude could handle them, but it would get a little enthusiastic. You'd ask it to refactor three files and it'd throw in a bonus rename reformat some constants, maybe fix something that wasn't broken. Now it's like it's learned restraint. It only changes what you actually asked for. Rakuten's engineers are saying the same thing, pinpointing the exact line to fix without the extra noise. Windsurf said the jump in quality is about the same as going from Sonnet 3.7 to Sonnet 4, which, yeah, that's noticeable. When you're working solo, you don't have a teammate to hand off the safe edits to. You're both the person making the risky changes and the one cleaning up the mess after. That's why I like this update. I tried it on one of my Swift UI projects, a view, a shared view model, and a helper extension. Opus 4 would do the job, but I'd always have a few, uh, why did you change that moments? Opus 4.1 went straight in made the edits, and didn't touch anything else. No style rewrites, no surprise refactors. It felt like working with someone who knows the code base well enough to not step on rakes. So, you know, I've got my setup, claw.md for context, a few custom slash commands for my usual Swift patterns, and that explore uh, plan code review loop I won't shut up about. Opus 4.1 just slides right in. Multi-file refactors feel safer now. If I paste three files and say, make this async await, but don't break Swift UI previews, it actually listens. If I hand it a messy Firebase crash log, it doesn't just jump to a guess. Uh, it walks through the possible causes step by step. And when I let it handle the git commit, yeah, the message actually matches the diff now. Small thing, big vibe shift. It's like going from a uh, having a junior dev who's enthusiastic but unpredictable to one who's been here for six months and actually knows where the sharp edges are. If you just toss random prompts at it, you might miss the upgrade. The magic happens when you give it a bit of structure. I'm still feeding it um, my Claude.md so it knows my Swift Lint rules, my weird project quirks, the stuff I don't want touched. I'm still telling it exactly which files to edit even if I paste more for context, and I'm still asking it to review its own changes before I hit commit. It's not that it suddenly got perfect. Uh, it's that now when it's good, it's really good. And that means I can trust it with stuff I used to do myself just to avoid the cleanup. Anthropic's already hinting that way bigger upgrades are coming in the next few weeks. So this feels like the pregame, tightening the screws, smoothing out the rough edges before the bigger leap. My guess, we'll see more long session reliability, like uh, the ability to keep context for hours without wandering off. If they pull that off, we might actually get close to an AI pair programmer who doesn't forget what you were talking about by lunch. 
So yeah, Claude Opus 4.1 isn't the kind of update that makes headlines. But if you're already using Claude code, you'll feel it, especially on those multi-file refactors that used to make you hold your breath. Try it, give it a small, well-contained problem and see how it handles the plan. Worst case, you find the edges. Best case, you get a clean, correct edit in one go and you keep your momentum. If you do try it, let me know. Drop a comment, send me a DM on Instagram at solo swift crafter, whatever works. I wanna hear if it's clicking for you too. Until next time, keep crafting, keep shipping, and let your tools make solo dev just a little less lonely. Peace.